Today we are in Showcase Gallery and we are interviewing Leslie Farmer. Leslie, can you tell us about this exhibit? Certainly. I'm proud to present a retrospective exhibit of my husband Mark Farmer's work. And you'll see here a self-portrait that he did for him back in 1962 when he was a member of the Art Students League in New York City. He was born in Palo Alto, California, but went back east in order to you know, gain more expertise in art and to become a professional artist. So in this exhibit, we show his work from the East Coast, his work in Pennsylvania where he lived for about 10 years, work from Northern California where he lived for about 15 years, and then also Southern California, where he lived the last 10 years of his life. So the show uh, is arranged chronologically, at least in terms of geography, starting with a couple of paintings that he did in New York City. And you can see that both in uh, this picture, as well as in his self-portrait, that the colors are rather muted. I also want to uh, make sure that you see the palette, which was done just in the last uh, five years. Um, so you have a sense of his colors in more recent times, which were brighter. And this is a, uh, basically a painting of Bolsa Chica. This section of the exhibit shows Mark's process. He often worked both um, live, out doors and in his studio to kind of establish the composition and then would also do reference photographs. From there he would create a grid of you know a photograph or he would make a sketch of the person in pencil and sometimes do a pastel afterwards before he did his final work that was an oil. Um, Mark's main media were um, oils and his uh, subject matter was usually fairly realistic portraiture and plein air landscape, um, but he also was very adept at pastels and had a growing expertise in watercolor. This wall represents Mark's work in Northern Marin. Um, he lived in Marin County and was particularly fond of capturing Mount Tamalpais, which was the featured um, mountain in the county, and both um, oils as well as in charcoal. He also really enjoyed capturing the sense of clouds, which is seen both in his Mount Tamalpais picture as well as in another picture that he had of the Richmond Bridge, which came from uh, Marin. He also was taking classes in portraiture, so um, what we have here are a couple of his studies, both uh, using pastel as well as in shades and black and white charcoal. In this wall, we're showing some of his larger pictures. Uh, the center one is uh, his largest one, which is a picture from Newburyport, Massachusetts, where he was visiting an artist friend of his. And on either side are two portraits, and they represent two distinct styles of marks. Uh, the one that's on the left uh, shows a very nuanced and subtle use of pastels, but he also tried to brighten up uh, the image by having uh, this uh, very dramatic sunset. On the right-hand side, we have a portraiture that's done in a more uh, loose brush uh, technique and in the back is a uh, painting that's in scent which is uh, a mission painting that he did earlier. Uh, this was also done uh, at a portrait uh, studio uh, class and Mark was really showing a study in terms of contrasting color. This final wall shows a uh, Mark's work in the last 10 years in uh, Southern California, particularly Orange County. He was a member of the SoCal Papa and would spend his Fridays doing plein air uh, landscapes. Uh, Mark also enjoyed uh, 
compositions that included architecture. So you'll see examples of the cannery, the Orange County Fair, which is an example of more recent watercolor, which tended to be a little fresher than his earlier works, um, as well as a, a nice variety in terms of um, ocean uh, images, which is a very interesting uh, contrast between kind of an abstract treatment and then a very measured treatment on the right hand side. Um, and then these uh, two pictures show different aspects of the county. One of Mark's uh, missions was to paint all of the missions in California. So this is um, Capistrano and he would engage in the annual paint out there. And then we also have Laguna Canyon, and he was also part of the Laguna Arts Festival as well. So I hope that you'll enjoy the exhibit. You'll see a lot of um, artwork that has never been shown before, as well as Mark's favorite paintings. Thank you, Leslie. Showcase Gallery is located at 3851 South Bear Street, South Coast Plaza Village, uh, you, it is open from Wednesday to Sundays. Please call 714-540-6430 for more information.